A while at Uptown Mondays, I was the number one selector in our country. People know a hot ball bus Uptown Mondays. Bounty killer get cross and hungry and come down and grab the microphone from me and say, yo, lot of balls, lot of this and lot of that. Yo, Tiffany, like, yeah, in the Rima jungle. None of them know I see you. People start calling me Benny Man Selector. I'm going to take the title the same way from 2001 to like 2004 with the pump violin so. Mr. Vegas, me and him have nothing really, but the problem I have with Mr. Vegas. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today we have a real special guest in the building. Listen, he's a soul man, a producer, a artist listen he sells merch and he's been doing big things in the industry for so many years you know we have in the building today we have the sound boss hot top ball in the building today what's going on big oh, no, no. Ah, tip up again. you know one sound boss hot top ball you know i'm checking everything all right entertainment report past class you don't know muscle big up your damn self you know my day huh? Respect 1,000% for checking us out today because somebody like Hatabal that we've been hearing about for so long, now we really get to check out your journey and see what it is to create this big Hatabal. You understand? Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, man, it's a pleasure being here. For sure. So what part of um, Jamaica were you born in and did you grow up in? I born in a Kingston, Jamaica. You know what I mean? My mother gave birth public hospital, you know what I mean? And from there, uh, I lived there like a couple of years, then I moved to Eastern Kingston. What part of uh, downtown Kingston were you living at? Yeah, I, I used to live on King Street, the heart of Kingston, Jamaica. You know what I mean? You have park, you know what I mean? You have ward theater, the whole market around the corner, you know what I mean? And my ground, my stamping ground. You see me? Mm-hmm. All right. And at that time, did, did you grow up with any siblings inside of the house at this time? Yeah, you know? I have several siblings, you know. You know what I mean? I have um, four sisters and uh, about four brothers on both sides. Mm-hmm. And you're the oldest, youngest in between? Where, where I'm like the fall? second oldest. Mm. So you were in charge of things happening in the house at this time here when you were Yeah, you know what I mean? I take it up on myself. And see my mother struggle. I said, no, mommy, you can't struggle. So she used to do like, she, 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 um, she do like pastry and all these things. You know what I mean? And she specialized in making peanuts. So I did take on the road at a tender age and go sell some peanuts down at the terminus. Creamy corner. You know what I mean? While going to school. So, you know, me a born hustler from morning. So, you know, say, yeah, I'm go out there and help the rest of siblings them. And were you hustling? Was this when you were downtown Kingston or when you moved to East Kingston? Also, while downtown and even at Eastern Kingston. Yeah, I used to sell peanuts right through. And, you know, what I mean, that taped me to the dance hall because. When we used to go to school and me and sell, you know what I mean? The, the, the kids, them, like my, my, my schoolmate, them, like, you know, trying to tease me and stuff. And I say, yo, I don't really want them to see me. Like, after school, they said, they said, oh, stay over late, saw me at the terminus. And the next day, it was like a laughing stock. So I decided to start, go on the weekends to the session, them, I saw music coming on me. Mm-hmm. Like so even here. growing up so even growing up at this time here what did you want to get into because you were hustling on the street do you want to be like a lawyer a doctor a pilot what was your ambition growing up that you thought you were going to really get into growing up when i was going to school i wanted to be a content or an engineer and you know what i mean while hustling i noticed that i have the skill of you know what i mean selling products yeah, boss man. So, you know, the thing set up from there. You know what I mean? It in on me from morning. You know what I mean? Yeah, muscle. You know, born For sure. So then, okay. So you wanted to you wanted to become an accountant or engineer. Okay, this is when you're going to school and stuff. So then what was the move like now from 
downtown Kingston to eastern Kingston. My grandmother, yeah, buy a house and stuff, and you know, my, yeah, you know, say she sent for her daughter. So we went to eastern Kingston, down noon terrace to be exact. Yeah, while there, there we um we got a next house in Vineyard Town. Yeah, and then you know, what I mean, I moved from Vineyard Town. I moved from Dunoon, I mean, Dunoon Terrace to Vineyard Town, which is still in East Kingston. Mm -hmm. And what schools were you going to at this time here now? At that time, I went to Kingston Technical. I used to go to a um, primary school called Jesper Paul, then I went to Winard Road, all age, then I passed and went to Kingston Technical. At that time there. And what was the biggest difference that you found was in the neighborhood between being in downtown Kingston and Eastern Kingston at that time there? At the time, Eastern Kingston was more calmer than downtown. You know, downtown at the art of the garrison, where all things happen. And Vineyard was like a, a mini uptown, like a mega class type of thing. Okay, so it was like you're 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 moving up, like you're getting a it's a better neighborhood at this time you yeah, know it was a better neighborhood you know what i mean you know we we went and play football we have like you know what i mean a community um a community park and all those things so it was like more much better than where i came from so you said now when you're in east this is when your love for music started to come around so was it a sound system you see an artist in the neighborhood what was it that really got you interested in music at this time, you know? As I was saying, um, I used to sell peanuts, so as, as gradually, while me I sell peanuts, I start attending the dance them. So while in the dance them, Warrior was the, um, one of the main selectors at the time. I went and, I went and sell, like in Osalia, all of the popular Godfathers, you know, Maharaj, and I used to follow like Stone Love everywhere. And I have a little sound system in Jamaica, in, in my neighborhood, I meant, you know what I mean, uh, by the name of Stereo Tune, and I started out there, and they were saying like, oh, you know how to do this, but you know what I mean, I just watch and learn, because a good listener is a good learner. Mm -hmm. And what year did you, did you get to that song and start fooling around with it? Uh, like in my teens. And then after that, I went over to Jungle, where I joined a song named Love Stone, we have Richie Feelings, Tony Feelings, Jiggy Onks, and Jason Steele as a CEO. And you know what I mean? They give me a position, you know what I mean? Right after, right before Richie Feelings worked, because he was like the top selector at the time on the song. And I just came in right there and do my thing. So when you got to when you got to Love Stone, were you more selecting your MC? What was your role when you were on Love Stone? Yeah, but when when we did Love Stone, me had the MC. You have Jiggy Youngs and you have Tony Feelings that always play the songs them, and me and Richie Feelings was the MC on this on the sound system. You see me? Mm -hmm. And your MC and style, was there an MC that you looked up to before you started playing songs? Say, okay, this is where I'm going to kind of learn the craft of MCing from? Yeah. I used to look up to sound like Stone Love. You know what I mean? A, 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 a number of them. And I just create my own pattern and style off of that. And who, who around Stone Love in particular would you say? You have um, Worry, you have Malcolm X, you have Chico at the time. You know what I mean? You have g -Fos and Father Paul, to name a few. Cancer also. I like that, dear. Cool. And how long were you playing Love Stone for? A couple of years. I don't remember how long, but a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then you said later on, so then how do you make this transition now from Love Stone to um, Fire Song with Firelinks? I made a transition while playing in jungle and surrounding communities around jungle, you have this youth named Fire Ken. His name was Kenrick. When he went on Firelink Sound, they call him Fire Ken. So Kenrick goes and came to me and tell me, say, yo, Firelinks are been a sound and him like how I do my thing and him want me forward. He might go introduce me. So I went over to Aureus 
where Oris was building the sound system alongside Al Pacino, you know what I mean, in, 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 in second. And from there, it was history. Filings came and tell us that he was going to start an event, a, a weekly event named Hot Mondays. And from there, my career take off Kingston 10, 11, 12, Kingston 5. You know what I mean? I'm going to dominate the whole place because who oh know filings? Filings always come late. So I mean, they, they all it are from them time, they're from the sound string up till uh, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Like that. And when you got to the song, who else was on the song at that time there? Al Pacino ended up joining the song because he built the song too. He helped build the song and Fire King and he have a youth named Cottiwere with Jaw for him to play Copper Shot now. You know what I mean? I just bring him in and not really me bring him in. Somebody from down the country know Fire Links and then bring him in and bam, we go so boom, I'm going to start telling him what to do. So then when you got to um, Fire Song now, this is when Links just started to build Hot Mondays at this time here now. Yeah, definitely. Hot Mondays, it started from um, when I rode in, when I, uh, when I placed the name again, Waltham. We started at Waltham till we reached Argo Park Road. During them time there, you know, we are in us all of the dancers, them, Bogle, John Ipe, to name a few, Shelly Belly, Mad Michelle, Kiva, you know what I mean? All those were our supporters and cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. And it was a good vibe. And as you said, these times, a lot of times... Lynx would be coming late, so you would have to hold off the dance a lot of times until he gets there. Yeah, Lynx coming at the morning, I mean, you know, a theme style lot. You know what I mean? I would juggle from, from the sound string up where I juggle. Come straight up till four or five o'clock. And did you actually start to fly out with Fire Lynx on the song at that time there? No, at that time, I never have no visa. Not every day have a passport, you know. After after that, me, me, me start take it serious, take out my passport, and you know what I mean. But me never travel with Firelink Sound yet. Mm -hmm. What were some of the bad dances you remember playing around Firelinks? Yeah, me play upon what if a big dance we play upon man, um, um, in a Kingston, in the country. But I can't remember. We used to play for um this guy named Palmer. He used to keep. Um, after champs and them thing there, crazy people, crazy young people, you know what I mean? Always ram every year. And I was one of the, the selected them on the show that always dominate, you know what I mean? Because filings always have numerous bookings. So he always send me around one part because I'm confident in me. That time there. And even before we go too far, your name, Hatabal. How did you get your name? Well, I get the name from Love Stone. Yeah, because um, me used to, when I go to school, me used to DJ everybody's songs. You know what I mean? And me, me, me rate Bounty Killer. So I always a DJ him song name. Um, me tell the girl them, me no play Stucky. And everybody start calling me Stucky. So when I go around the song now, me I tell him, say, I saw my name. And I said, no, man, you're red dog. You can't name so. And we, we, we don't want nobody power so name Stucky car. A selector will come and say, Yo, I suck your name. You know what I mean? I'm going to say, No, give me your name then. I'm going to say, Yo, you're red. Um, um, red, red czar. I'm going to say, No, I'm going to say, Atta. And then I'm going to say, Atta ball your name. And from this up, I take the name and the history just began. Mm -hmm. So it was from Stucky to Atta ball. Yeah, Stucky Vich. Cause you know we like football and you'd have a ball and in some Vich I don't remember. It was a while ago. You know what I mean? So yeah. We got you there, Bob. So even when you're on fire links, is this when you started to come up with the slangs at this time or this was after the fact you started? Yeah, to come me, up with um, me normally, you know what I mean? As me tell you, I'm gonna watch numerous a selector and I create my style around it and while when while while my own filing son, me learn a lot. So me realize I'm always I build arguments. So me start build argument on slangs. But one of them where it was ah tito. You know what I mean? Okay, and this was from 
you were on Fire Sound. That's when you came up with that slang there. No, after me leave Fire Sound, um, I came up with that slang. Because through that one, that, that slang was one of the, the major slang that everybody see me and say, Art it up, art about. You know what I mean? Yeah, and mm -hmm. but can I give you some more history point how oh, I get that slang there? It was uh, like what, after the, um, the here for. Vegas Billboard single, Hot Walk. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the next part that we can talk about or it created. That's what we want to hear. We want to hear the details. All right. Well, the details, after me leave Fire Sound, I went to Sound Trooper. And then after me leave Sound Trooper, I spent, on, uh, I spent one year upon Sound Trooper. Then I got to a thing named Solo. And then I started playing Uptown Mondays. And while at Uptown Mondays, I was like, the number one selector in our country. So Mr. Vegas came to me and he asked me, why are on the street? So I tell him, say, you have a thing named Dutty Wine around the street. You know what I mean? And then after that, me, him, um, you have a new thing that come out with the girl that I run with named Atwork. So I say, yo, I'm like that one. I jump on the one before Elephant, you know. And I say, all right, then do your thing. Then he went to the studio and came back with a song. The song when he come back with, it, 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 it it's similar to the, 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 the original song. Him call it Hot Funk. I mean, I say, yo, the rhythm is too slow. It now go work. So I went back to the studio and him get a, a rhythm from um, in the street, Murray. And him asked me, oh, the rhythm is so. And him called me down and I say, yo, the rhythm is bad. Him say, man, fit the song for it. And I say, all right, then. And him say, I'm going to it. And I just came up with it from nowhere. Ah, Tito. What did you all have? And... After that, I history again, me tell you. Mm -hmm. Because I know in the intro was you and um, this girl named Opal. Yeah. She was one of the dancers also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was a dancer at the time. And, you know, we, we turned her into an artist. She start, began um, to sing songs such as I Said It and more. You know what I mean? She created a lot of style too and diversity. You know, the thing, as she come up with the, the, um, the whispering thing and then spice them, take it up. Okay. Even you, you gloss over it a bit. Fire links to Sound Trooper. How long were you on links for? Um, I spent a um, couple of years from 2001 to like 2004. Mm -hmm. With upon Fire Links Sound. I mean, him fall out. You know what I mean? Come here and put in beer work and the money never right. You see me? It was like me I do a wholesale job. Like me I work down a town in you know, one of the wholesale limp. And you know what I mean? Me just go to boom and say, yo, now I go work, you know. Me I move on, you know. You know what I mean? Me I work hard every night. And when me get pay, it was like a wholesale job. So me I say, yo, this not look good, you know. So after that, me and him have a little fallout and then me just leave the sound. Him and him brother, when he boot you, I had him fall out and I call him. I'm like, he never really addressed the thing and I just left the sound. He never fired me or nothing. I just left the sound and move on. And while I move on, I dip on my block. Ricky Trooper came to me and I want to come upon the sound as a juggling selector. You know what I mean? And I joined the sound for what I hear. At the time, I, I introduced DJ Famous on the sound. Me and a youth named G Snoop used to run the sound. You see me? Mm -hmm. So did you play a lot of dances on Sound yeah, Trooper? Yeah, I played a whole lot of dances on Sound Trooper. You, you know what I mean? We, we book out for all country. We never normally play in a town, but we book out for all country, 13 country. You know what I mean? Every, every, every weekend we, we have a bookings. Yeah, and my daddy and me do my thing. Me give up enter world clash. He make me play upon one of the world clash them down on Montego Bay, Pier One. You see me, while me, me there, while me there in the dance, I say, yo, he came to me unexpected and I say, yo, he want me going at the round where I can't get eliminated. So I went on and do it in me and G Snow. And it was, it was a good look. We never win. I think basically say won the trophy that night. But we, we, we dominate the same way. 
for sure. So then now you're on links, you're on Trooper. So then you, when you left Trooper, Sound Trooper, why do you leave Sound Trooper? I leave Sound Trooper because he sell me a policy, like an insurance, and tell me so everything is all right. And you know what I mean? Gradually, you know what I mean? Six months after, me not nah see nothing I really turn my way. So I just move on and say, yo, me go do my thing solo. And from there, mm. I died in my community. I go and dominate my community, Eastern Kingston. Witty come back and him say, I want to start an event. He see the thing and him say, I want to start an event named Uptown Money. But before me know Witty, I died in my community and like Witty come fix a car. One of my associate them, when I grew up with, tell him about me. And him say, yo, him have him Sweet 16 party, Sweet 16 birthday party for him daughter. And he want me to come play for see how me, how me play. So when I go up there and play now, I lock down the whole high place. Nah, Tito. And then him say, yo, him have a thing named Uptown Mondays where I keep every week. So when I got Uptown Mondays, there were like nobody did it. We did it a couple of weeks. Nobody not come. Then I start promoted. And then Uptown Mondays become huge. I start invite all the artists, them. Bounty Killer, Vibes Cartel, Movado, to name a few. Mm -hmm. Up to, okay, so then when you when you got to Uptown Money, it had started already, but it wasn't really popping off at yeah, the time. Yeah, you have then. one youth named Swam King. You know, some people remember Swam King. He used to play Stone Love, and you know what I mean? Oh, Which was like looking like Iron Selector would have a name. You know what I mean? So I like him book Swam King, but Swam King couldn't really there around the because I'm depending on the brand Stone Love, and you know, Stone Love always book out seven days a week. So it never really worked and it never really put in a promotion. So when me come around there, you know, I guess uh, it, 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 it does get a turn and become Uptown Mondays, which everybody know now. Mm -hmm. And who else as selectors was it playing on Uptown Mondays at this time here now? Well, you know, um, otherwise some something, you'd have footer hype, you know what I mean? And we invite, um, me, we invite Raz and Biggie because me tell Witty the idea say yo me could bring some guest selectors because me get so hot me, 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 me went to Japan me went me, me, me tour out America with Vegas you know what I mean and even get so hot so me get busy so like if me fly out me, me not get for forward back for forward block for, for up to Monday so like sometimes I come in like the Wednesday so I me me tell him that yo Book some selector, we have names. So we, we, we tell him about um, Panther them. Because two women up on Sound Trooper, me and Panther was like a virgin. You know what I mean? Travelers, you know what I mean? Jamrock Sound, you know what I mean? Ross and Biggie them, as me tell you, Richie Feelings, them we bring around there. A whole heap of them, him used the idea that when me give him and start invite a lot of selectors. Because him are the CEO for the event, so him do the part of the job there, but uh, my idea. Mm -hmm. So when did Boom Boom get involved? Well, Boom Boom, I hit up up to him Monday. Him say my parade, the Gully Side Alliance. You know what I mean? So him say I hit up up there. You know what I mean? And the kindness of my heart, him came to me and him say, "Yo, I want to tap on one song." I'm say tap on couple song. And I saw Boom Boom know about up to Mondays. You know what I mean? And as me tell you, while at up to Mondays, one night. Beanie, Beanie man came at, at Uptown Mondays and I trans, uh, him started start vibes with Bunty Killer, which me never know what I go on in the street. You know what I mean? So I see big superstar Beanie man come to me and him start say, yo, oh, Atabala, you forgot play now. Tell Futa to come off of the sound. I said, I can't do that to nobody. So him got do it. Him got take the mic and him start tell Futa say, yo, oh, listen me, remember when you're Come down a country and we invite him at the hotel and we say take off your shoes and ready, take off your shoes, your foot stink. And you know what I mean? And from there, him start the vibes and him go sit down back. Him talk a bag of things and go sit down and then Bunty Killer came and, and talk a bag of things. So I get for play. So while I get for play, you know I have the love for music. So I never really a pre in a side. I never take no side. So when I play you now, being a crap, um, create a bag of things and I end up start playing. So I start, I play the both of them. I play a rhythm name, um, Showtime at the time. And when I go to Boom, I play the Beanie Man. So I say, yo, I can't play 
being a man artist for no, and my play the bounty killer pan it, eagle and arc, you see me? And when I go to boom and play Beanie and the bounty killer, the whole place lift up. Then after that now, one of Beanie entourage came to me and tell, and tell me, say, yo, they want to play a song. I don't know nothing about the song, you know, but you don't know me respect his joy, you know, being a man that, you know, so I go and put, up, and put on the song on the turntable, table and the song started mash up the place because as I tell him, I never really got a road, I never used to go stewed on them things there. So I never really know what going on in the street. There wasn't no bag of social media like the place. It was like MySpace only. So I never really know what going on. So Angel and, 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 and Beanie and Bunty thing. So the song, um, the song name, the song title, Art Attack. So the place mash up so me, me really lost still, you know. Then I say Bunty Killer get cross and hungry and come down there and grab the microphone from me and say, yo, yo, lot of balls, lot of this and lot of that. Yo, Tivalik, yeah, in the Rima jungle. Yo, and yo, and start talking about all my place. East Kingston, Mountain View, Rockford, Vineyard Town. None of them don't want to see you. I mean, I say, oh, what is this? Anyway, I'm going to walk back in the spot and I do my thing. And after that, I see Bounty Killer start fight my career. I got a boom and they're on a show, a country, where one of the gully youth them I keep. That youth they named Bam and you so. Be the road manager for Movada when Movada does a bus. And mm-hmm. at the time, where my heart has me tell you, Sound Trooper did book on the show, and Ricky Trooper was like the opening. He was opening for me. You know what I mean? As the main selector where they on the show. So I did a wait and I hold my vibes and say, so bam. Then I say, Bama came to me and I tell me, say, yo, Atabal, you know, my rate, you know, dog. But you know, the DJ. I say, which DJ? I say, yo, killer man. The DJ say, yo, is either me or you, you know. And you know, I can't say you at the ball, cause you know the whole thing already. And I felt away and I left. And from that, and from that time, me just start get a fight from the Alliance God, you know? Ground God himself. I start come off all like Okay. Before even so even that boom, boom, though, I remember... get up to Mondays. Cause mm-hmm. Bounty Killer is a man who got every party and and buy crazy and support everybody. So, you know what I mean? They respect him. So, you know, killer with us. Yo, I don't want to hear the selector there. You know? And I saw Witty them start push me out. I saw Boom Boom them get the platform. Which it done boss already. Because I remember, wasn't there a Thursdays that Bounty used to keep and you used to be around there too, you know? It yeah, was at that time. Something it, Alliance yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Alliance Thursday. I used to keep a thing named Tire Mark Social and not nice. We, are, we, 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 we team up with Bounty Killer and I keep Alliance Thursday. Him, 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 him have a problem with venue. So he came to me, you know, come here, lock down the wall at Eastern Kingston. I have, have a venue, come like a me who on the venue, 14B. And him came down there and him see the vibes and see our be people. We have every night round the room. And him say, yo, you know, say, I'm going to move in my event and I'm going to team up with me. So I end up change my event name and use him name and put him in a promotion. And him try to use him brain too, you know. You see me? Because he's he going like, you know what I mean? Like he's going pull all the crowd then. So, okay. So you, at one point, were you basically being considered an alliance Bounty killer select at one point? Yeah, the alliance raper from day one in a busy signal, Mofado. You know what I mean? Bounty killer himself, same way. You know what I mean? Yeah, he'd have a youth name round round killer at the time name. I'm sure if him change his name to Gangoli, you know what I mean? And a horse artist because you know say your bounty killer always a endorse the youth them, same way. The baddest thing being a bounty killer a good youth, you know. Now watch your screw face, man. Now watch your limousine, man. man. That's just killer. Yeah, yeah. That's just killer, you see me? Cross, angry. But when you talk to him, a different, a different, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you're basically moving amongst the man, but you say that night in particular at Uptown Mondays is where everything switched with you and killer. Yeah, at the angry. time. that When Beanie came, because Beanie... Being a craft, you know. Me have to wonder if being a work a craft market. Guy, him promised me 
100,100 dub. And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I buy my car a morning and crocus bag of things. So I get at me done with the same look of money. I buy a look of Toyota Carol at the time. And the whole street, I say, I've been to buy my car. But I just leave them, make them talk what they want to talk. Um, if you notice, I not to do interview and them things there. You know, I just wallet, you know, I just, you know what I mean? What was meant for me, I got to be for me. So I don't really push it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So then, okay, so then you basically went from an alliance selector to a beanie selector. That's what you're saying? Yeah, happened? beanie, yeah, beanie come and say, man, sign me and bag a thing and give me a bag of dub. And, you know what I mean? Angel, sorry for me and give me about 30,000. You know what I mean? And beanie goes a boom and tell Blue, say, yo, put that about a couple of show them. So we went to Trinidad and, and a couple more small islands. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, people start calling me Beanie Man Selector. I'm going to take the title same way. Mm-hmm. So you were the selector, and was this John Hype and John Squad was around the same time? So it was you, Beanie Man, John Hype, and John Squad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, John Hype. You know what I mean? John Hype. Yeah, Beanie Man support John Hype right through. Beanie Man was like, you know, John Hype, I'm dancer. Because, like, you know what I mean? Him and Bogle, like, Never really uh, knock in again. So, him signed John Hype. Mm-hmm. So, did you officially sign to be the man, or this was just talk? A talking sign, man. Um, you know, mm-hmm. you know, Jamaican thing, a talking, man. Yeah, talking signing, man. So, then you knew at this time here, when you became the Beanie Man selector, you knew that, okay, this is going to be problems right here with you and Killer at this time here now. This is when you're aware yeah, of what's going them on. Them time, I realize what I'm going mm-hmm. So then you just decided to push through the same way? Let yeah, me just go and do my thing. And, and June, I read God's and see me and rate me and love my energy. And him, him say one well, side me too, but I see him talking. And I just continue to do work for them. Continue to endorse them brand and do them thing. And then, and in this time here was when you met Vegas in this whole time here, or that was before? Uh, I think it was like in the same time, 2007, Vegas came to up to Mondays and, 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 and I was start link from there. Get a number one song. It went I, on, you know what I mean? Billboard. At the time when, the, when we start promote the song, we see I promote it, then the song became hot. You know, I'm a book called for every show. So while me, me, me reach at the show them, Ursa selected them always to play the song before me. You know what I mean? Because him, him got a boom and him sign couple DJ like DJ Maestro from Passa Passa car. I was sign somebody from Weddy Weddy. You know what I mean? Maestro, look at Richie, stole love them. You know what I mean? And you know, me done play up to Mondays already. And the song does take off from there. You have Dirty Friday, Gear Chucks, I can't forget. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the song just became number one. Went on Billboard. Me was one of the first Billboard selector with Tony Mataran. And then after that, Filings became a Billboard selector. Um, him do an inch upon Kanye West song. If you can remember, who was studying, who was follow up the, 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 the selector archive. For sure. So, because I know you're even in the visuals for a hot it up. It's you, Vegas, and all you guys are in the video. Yeah, at that time, they extra more gone. You know what I mean? Them give me a, them, them say them want, give me a, like a, um, a, a, a garage type of energy. So, them give me an overall and a helmet. So, if you look at the video, me in the overall and the helmet at the front of the video. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And then you said you went on the road with Vegas too. What was that like touring with Vegas when this song is so hot? We have crazy show in the US. You know what I mean? The way, the way, the, the amount of show, Vegas is an international artist, the amount of show every night and we have a tour bus. And I don't know what I'm to, the business part of our culture, you know what I mean? They're not like, do the right thing. So, I end up telling him, say, oh, I go back to Jamaica in a car. The way, the, to, the, to all my career at, where I give me a night, 
I make double that and triple that. Because I play Margarita Ville, I play all over Jamaica, I have crazy country dance. Mm-hmm. So, so would you say these situations that you were offered and got into, how come you never really said, okay, this is my price, this is what I want, let's sign and let's just get this deal done so we could move forward? Well, you know what I mean? It was like, to me, it's a stocking signing um, Jamaican business people them deal with. They never really do the paper shit. So I'm mostly talking, but I never really question it. I just allow it to make it flow. Okay, so you you knew that, okay, it's not it's kind of official, but not really official, so you're just going to work with it and see where it ends yeah, up. Yeah, because we don't have my plan already and done see how I'm going to do my thing and how I'm going to elevate from this. It, 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 you know what I mean? It's just the next phase in my career because, you know what I mean? I have my plan say I want a company and I create my company. Mm-hmm. And my company name is Attitop Movements. You know what I mean? You don't know, Magasa Bowman also created a website from about 2010. So I'm already ahead of the game from a long time. I've been a sell merch. I link up with Java even them, them print my t-shirt them and I've been a sell my, my thing. You know what I mean? And from there until this time, my website up and running. Right now we have like we have Attitude Movement store where me I sell not only my product but other products. Because you know, your, your shop can just have certain things. More and people can come on my shop and can get anything. Plus, I promote artists and, you know what I mean, we, we, we have a content writer and we do all type of um, thing for artists. Make um, bio, press kit, anything. Mm-hmm. The website, sure. so when, the website name, mm-hmm. ataball.com. All my fans, you mm-hmm. can go out, go out there and check it out. Perfect. So when you came off of the road with Vegas Snow, did you get back to playing your weeklies every week or what were you doing? What was your next move? Yeah, I still they have my spot of Uptown Mondays. You know what I mean? But as I tell you, too, I have move, move, move every minute. And the, the thing will happen with Bunty and Beanie, you know what I mean? Which they start push me out and him start bringing some, um, like some other selector till boom, boom, them. Um, I've meeting with him and start play there, um, like weekly. Mm-hmm. So you're back then. So then at this time, was this when you built the song, the hot, hot it up movement song at this time here now? Yeah, I've been, um, do that from early out, you know, because I don't know the, um, the dynamic in a music, you know what I mean? I have to create my own thing. So I've been up my son a lot the whole east. But, um, I have like um these these are selectors that didn't have a name. Me have the Bishop Escobar, you know what I mean, Ikel Marvelous, he used to dance and he used to play one thing named Early Saturdays, and he used to be the dancer. And Gina start teaching the game and uh, him, him, him start doing things. So I tell him say anyway, attitude movements are playing, him can come forward, him have a minutes them. And we have um also other clubs and you know what I mean Loxy and um um DJ Rambo to name a few where we endorse because we done it um a pattern oh the big sound them do the thing. Mm-hmm. Me never really wanted to be and a, you seen the talent yeah me, yeah, me just an endorse talent me never wanted solely about me. That's why I name the sound attitude movements instead of Atabal. Makes sense. You have your song now. So when did you start producing? I start producing like um um 2010 coming up. I produce a song. Um I produce a rhythm. I may have mung up on it. At the time I part I acting and him never sing on the rhythm. I don't know what, but him rival cargo. Sing on the rhythm. So I have Munga, I have Sean Storm, and Vibes Cartel did not sing. At the time, um, Sean Storm say, Yo, I met the DJ, DJ Panica, the DJ Ray Chain out the ball. And him start telling me a little story, say, Yo, you make Vibes Cartel come up to Mondays, you know. And Ray and I say, All right, then. So I have a song upon um, my voice him. So him say, Cartel, I got voice. Then after that, Cartel just get incarcerated. And you know what I mean? Blighted that. 
But I still continue voice and do my thing. Vice, after the rhythm there, because I read him there in Sunday, I do a medley on it. You can check it out, Sunday medley. It's an art platform, you know what I mean? I have Munga on it. I have um, Kaleido. I have Nesbet. I have Kaga. I have Sean Storm. I'm, I'm also my voice myself too. I remember seeing it. It's a it's a medley video that you had put out. Yeah, we we did the video with Kabbalah. Um, my Kabbalah. Uh, what you call her there? Yeah, collaborate. Yeah, collaborate with um some guys from Montego Bay, Brevard, and it was history after that. We have Tally Phoenix and Dapper Zap also up on the rhythm. You know what I mean? Because him used to run with them artists there, and him him sister may have piece of the ground, so him team up with we, and we we put out a project there. And what made you even start producing music in the first place? Inish, initially, you know, um, it's, it's just a, it's just a, can't, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just something where I know so I have to do. Because I want to leave a legacy. So, you know what I mean? As a selector, you don't really have no records nor anything. It's just a, people are going to remember, say, oh, but them now going to see no really proof. So, that's why I went into producing, to create my legacy. Makes sense. And I know somebody you were linking with, with er, from early to was, um, that time he was called Diablo, that turned into governor. How did that link come around? Yeah, man, Diablo. Well, we well, got some boomers, I tell you, after the being man German, you know what I mean? Um, I don't came to me, um, um, love. A brother named Love, that a I don't a brother. And he must say, yo, he want a DJ if he come go and spin some chalk for him. So I start go to the studio and hang out at the studio. And as some get to know Diablo, I say, yo, Diablo, your body, your style different. Your style newer than, you know what I mean? And me, me, me knew from there, me hear him, me say, yo, you got a boss. So he start giving me a beard up plate under the name Diablo. And me, as, me start tell beer people, say, yo, Diablo go bust, you know, and then when him goes a boom and change him name, him does explode. For sure. And somebody else that I know you, I think you were linked with from early too, was even Nesbitt. How do you connect with Nesbitt? The, um, the, kin, um, the Kingston, the Kingston, um, 11 and 12 community, as me tell you, jungle, him, him always there. I see him coming into that too, so I know my thing, so. Him, him, him end up come start par with me, with Braveheart and the whole team. Cause Brave know him too, and you know what I mean? We start go a boom and do a thing. You know what I mean? Start touch road. Him, him, him is a youth always a tell me good things, you know? Yeah, I'm not selfish. I'm always say, yo, yeah, youth, yeah, do your thing, but you need to do this. And say it that way, and yeah, because him is a bad artist, you know? For sure, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Who else did you did you connect with early in their career as an artist? Um, I obtain, you know, what I mean, Taji came to me. As I tell you, me, I wanted the number one selector at that time in Jamaica. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. otherwise from the Tony Mataran and the Fire Links them and the Ricky Chopa them and the Bass Addition, the Stone Love and you know, you know, what I mean, the Kilimanjaro. Me I was the number one selector. You know what I mean? Otherwise, some fire links and Tony Monteran will go solo. Me was one of the mm -hmm. first selectors will go solo after them. And foot type them follow the thing. You know what I mean? So foot hype, foot hype came after you as an individual. Yeah, foot you say play on one, one artist song. Um Leroy, Leroy Sibyl's Sibyl song. And do him thing and then him, you know what I mean? He must have left the song and go solo because he say oh, it can work. Mm-hmm. Got you. You're explaining about I act so, here. Now. The youth name touching all the the songwriter, the ghost songwriter, you know what I mean? Carry me in a um in a meeting with them. Down at Arrow Studio. I'ma start to work with him. Because Arrows them sign I At the time, he made have a song name. Sell out the ghetto youth for dead. You know what I mean? And before that song there, he made have a song with Teflon. Yeah, gun rise, one dead. And me, me start work with him. I say, yo, the artist, your body, no. And no, him know if a man over the stage. And me start to work with him. And start part, I acting, right? You and endorse him. So I start tell every select time I went to 
You have a thing in Bembe Thursday where you used to keep the Jigs the Rivers and Richie Feelings, them and Raz and Biggie, them. And I go to boom and do my thing and, and I introduce my co workers, them, to IACT. And I said, that you tell body, I go bust, you know. And then, you know what I mean? There was like history after that. You know what I mean? Taji wrote a couple songs that took him to number one as an artist in Jamaica. Like, Lose a Friend. My life, no easy life. One, two, three, and a and, and, and couple more songs. Mm -hmm. I even I even sang, I even DJ for one of the rhythm them call me and him apartheid and him go to cash flow them and cash flow them give him one rhythm. Um, um, no boy can't ramp it. I'm a singer song upon that name. Out of all a selector. Girl me select for. Girl now dance with the fuck me a select for. Girl see a wine up. We go them spine up. Girl in a script and girl in a giant up. The girl them love of my skin we red. And from this I'm a start. Sing my song them. I'm a start take it more serious. Right I'm a then start do my thing already. But just start taking it more serious and start releasing some songs every now and then. Because I never really want to give up selecting. I just multi talented. I just try to cover every, every, um, every, 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 every spot in a dance hall, in an entertainment. At that time, there. So even when you were with I Octane, because remember, when he first came out, he had almost like a sizzler type of energy to him and then he kind of changed more into more dancehall so you were wrong from beginning when he had that sizzler type of energy to when he went more dancehall yeah but when him i got deep in a dancehall and him start you know what i mean me, me and him fall out in the next fall out that's again you see me <laughs> hot about boss okay hold on let's let, let's stop right here one second and look at this <laughs> you and Killer, how did you and being in man situation end? It, me and him never have no, it just got, you know what I mean? Me just do my thing. Me just not hear them. I call me for no more shows. I'm just do my thing. But me and him never really have no fallout like that. Being, being, he still rate me and do it. Killer, them still rate me, you know. I act them still rate me, but me just I do my thing. My journey different. Me have to do my journey. So, oh, I act Why do you? Me and him end up fall out now. It's because of the Beanie and Bunty thing. We'll go up on a school tour. I'm going to on the bus. And the artist will go drive come on the show. I'm going to on the bus because I'm playing chucks them too, you know. So I'm going on the bus now. I'm going to go boom and sit down. So the rest of the people, them will work with him. You have um, Sasha Bling used to, used to um, be like a road manager for him. Because at the time, you have um, the brother where I manage Spice. One at a time. Um, Ray Alexander. You see me? So, Sasha Bling there on the bus and the rest of like some monster around joke about the bounty and being a thing. But Bounty say, lot of balls and them start laughing. Yo, me I say, yo, me not in the joke thing that the man in there. You know. So, me just come off of the bus and say, yo, me just done it then. So, I say, yo, he need the laptop for for come for go sing the, the, him need the tracks them. I'ma say yo, come feet. So I went to um him come down 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 Kirk and come for the laptop. So I'ma tell him say yo, the laptop at him, cause one at a time my other laptop crash and so him him him, him lend me a laptop, which him say him give me, and then him came back feet. So me I tell him say yo, all of my songs I'm dub them up on the laptop. So but see it ya, cause I'm a dog same way. So let's go do a thing. But well, when you're done, just give me back the laptop so I can run off my songs them. Pan a hard drive. I never, I never see back I acting from that. I'm just saying, hey, that you do I acting. All right. Me I go my way and you go your way. Good. I'm just start connect my so songs how, them. How did you get back all your music then if they were all on the laptop? Um, me have some I dubbed them in on my email. So most of them dubbed them with, but like new dub when I get, me never get them the buck. You see me? I uh, mean, I street, me see like, me see, me see some man have the laptop, you know? 
when I start work with him, start work with a son named CD Fantasy. From there, I never hear him about next six hit song. Or those popular songs. That's all right, do your thing. Why do you think your life in music has been so rough, boss? What does this have anything to do with you? What where what blame would you take for all of this right here? Yeah, to how the thing set up. Me notice. Just show me look, me just look like a superstar, so them just feel like everything is all about at a ball. And you know what I mean? Like me, I got to hide your shine, your glory. Me can't take nobody's glory. Me only can't take my glory and tell my story. But me, me think it's a jealous thing, you know. But jealous, jealous about what? Though? I don't know. They're because, the artist and you're the selector. Yeah, me is a selector, producer, slash artist, but. You know what I mean? I don't really get certain break in terms of the producing and the DJ part of my, my career. I just the selecting thing take off. So right now, I just uh, pave the way for the rest of the thing them take off. If you could go back in time with all these situations, what would you have changed differently with all these situations? Well, I don't mean, change nothing in a car. I'm a journey, you know. I don't have nothing to change about it. I accept it and I just move on and I try to be a better person and do better. Because I know at one time, especially when a lot of those weekly dances were happening, you were the gal selector. When it came to gal dash out, that's what Hot Ball specialized yeah, in. Man, a uh, at the time, I used to play a dirty Friday too, you know, all of the, the weekly event, them, you know. If you can't remember, because I remember you, 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 you always come to Jamaica. And, you know what I mean, the other day, you know what I mean, Evo, one of my, um, my peers, I talk about you, his name's Penny Spenny. I don't know if you, you know him. He must say, you're most, 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 love, most love dopes. Because he always correspond with me, and I tell him, say, oh, you know, say, um, Cassette Jones line up an interview, because he see the thing where I go on, and he, he, he linked me up with Muscle. So I me, me tell him about Muscle, because I say, Canada, your base. And, you know, Spenny Spenny, I might do some from 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 Saint Thomas and uh, and him, him, him reside in a Canada, so I reach out to him and I tell me, yeah man, him know you're good, good, good. Mm-hmm. Of course, Spenny's family. Cause how I even met you, I met you up here. Um, as a matter of fact, couple times with Spenny and King Shop, they kept couple dances up here with you. Uh, and those times I used to have my yeah, shop. Yeah, then one day put up on every dance, course. man, every big song. Mm-hmm. I saw my play with Killer Man Jared, all I big sound. And when I go, when I go solo, every big dance I keep a St. Thomas when I put on, my book pan it. Mm-hmm. It's one of the, the youth them were in a, you know what I mean, in a, in a, in a, in a promotion where it never left me out or nothing yet. I show right now, I just do my thing on a weapon, you know what I mean, the right time to start taking on the work. Or anytime the right time come back again, you know, say, yo, oh, alone touring again. So you even said because we spoke about producing, selected is your biggest things with um you link with the artists and all that. But even artist wise, what made you decide that you wanted to actually start recording some songs? No, where did that come in for you? Yeah, while reaching out to a lot of artists, you know what I mean. They never give me the strength. They never sing for my rhythm. Even as me tell you, I attain on my party. At one time, I can't remember me and him their country, and we are come up and me. I play my rhythm for him. I hear Liquid call him. And Liquid say, Yo, I have no rhythm for you, you know. I hear upon it, you know. I must say, send me it now. The man goes, boom, and download the rhythm and start, and, and take off my rhythm and start playing. And I'll know I to sing for my label. I mean, so I can't power them people, yeah. You know what I mean? So, from, from initially, where, while that happened, I decided to say, yo, I'm going to start singing my own songs then. And I saw me start take more heed in a DJ and start build my song them. Because remember, enough of the DJ them I use, I slang them in a song, you know. Enough of the DJ them use where they selected them set at night time, you know, and put them in a song, you know. Because I can't remember, you know. And, 
I go to one place named Bermuda and I lock down the whole of Bermuda. I don't know where it comes from. I just come in and meet them and say, yo, Connick. I go up, I go up, I go away, away. I come from Bermuda and go away, away. And I say, when I sang bad, I say, Connick. I'm born to kill, I use it. And say, yo, Connick, boom, bang. I got him put on, boom, bang. But I'm, brother, I'm crazy slang, I create, brother. I remember the next one of yours is um, Hard Tackle also too. Yeah, I have a thing named Hard Tackle because I remember you know, filings come and say ball game in a team language, you know. So I said, what do you can't come up with? I said, Hard Tackle. You see me? No, I have a new thing named High Language. You just have this energy in you when it comes to coming up with those slangs, you just know how to come up with them. So I guess coming up with slangs, and as you said, a lot of artists weren't really linking to record. So then you just put this all into your music. Yeah. I just start saying, all right, then I'll do it. If them can do it, I can do it too. I start creating the songs, them, and you know what I mean? If I need help with it, you know what I mean? I me, 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 me help so much people, so... Yeah, I mean, me have a couple of DJ around me. We help me so. We help me with my songs them also. I don't know me have to give them props. Them the real one, them name call. Cause them not do it for the reason there. Them just know say yo. At a ball always I help them. So I come up with a melody. Them help me out with it. Of course, because you're you're so multifaceted, as you said, selecting, producing artists you have merch that you sell you have your website you just like you have the full package of everything that you need to have in one yeah place. that's that 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 was the aim you know what i mean you know what i mean bringing entertainment to the four corner you know what i mean connecting all dots at one location one shop you know what i mean my website at about.com at it up movements and i know you're a man you traveled across the globe you played enough places tell me three places that you've been and these dances you'll never forget the first time i got england i play um for one big dance where them carry where them keep early maybe them stop it now but we, um we, we do england i'm gonna go i'm gonna go japan and canada of course you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those three places where I can't forget. And even selector-wise now, when you and this selector buck up in a dance, you know this dance is going to be wicked. Which selector really you say, okay, this is somebody that you can really juggle hard with? Well, you know what I say, yo, you have a number of selector, yeah, enough selector good. But you know what I mean? Where you buck up on, where you buck up on like a, a madras. You know, say you have to put in work. Cause madras I come talk a crocus and a rocus. So, me give madras him props, him bad. Him used to play a rabbit, you know, him do his own thing, you see me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say there's another selector that you really got to be on your P's and Q's when you book up this selector here too? Um, I don't get enough dance with um like a Tony Materan or a Fire Links. You know what I mean? My play, me and foot of them play regular, so I know the craft for them always use already, man. So, yeah, but like out of the, out of the, out of the box, me that's a madras, I want a baddest thing. When I say otherwise, um, you know, I told him to run a fire links. You know what I mean? A squingy, a panta. You know what I mean? But I don't get enough dance with them type of brand. I me always, me always do my thing. It's like me, most time, me are the headliner for my type of shows when I get booked for. Mm -hmm. And what type of shows are you doing Are you doing nowadays? When they, you book a hot about, what could they really expect? in that type of dance nowadays. Yeah, man, I juggle down the place, man. Yeah, man. I juggle down the place right now. I just mostly juggling dance, me play upon still. So it's like a, a juggling vibes, a party vibes, a energy thing. Cause you know, we have the energy from morning. You see me I'm saying? So it's that type of vibe. I mean, I really specialize in clashing. 
But you know, we're not afraid of people said we. Have you, okay, have you ever got into a clash as a solo selector hot about before? Yeah, selector rushed me, eh? Selector rushed me enough time. But uh, if who know hot about, I always a cut special, you know? What do call it? Um, I, Custom. Customs. I always a cut custom. Because when I play all of the big events, them, I always cut a dub feet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I always cut dub for um, 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 Maka Diamond. She normally keep her thing on. Um, the place her name. Um, um, Mask Camp. She always keep her thing on Mask Camp. And, you know what I mean? Crazy other shows were big. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I always cut custom feet. I'm going to some garrison. I cut a custom I big up the people them, I big up the, the, the era leader them and you know what I mean? My always got custom, so my always I get my father, my know for do my thing. What was the biggest clash you've ever been in? Or as you said, select a rush you. What dance was that? When I play on Sound Chopper, them time they may have grown me here. I'm gonna go on a dance in a country. Me, me remember the country, but the selector where, where Ricky Chopa, where, where Sound Chopper did a clash. A panther. So, you know, me a troop of all the dub with my name in it, you know. So, I'm going to say, boom, and okay. me did it, and me and G Super play, and me a, me a bond down the place, and me a, me a, me a rush him. And then, me just hear the man just, when it's film time for play, the man say, yo, that tall ear board over there, so I scream like, y'all, leaves came into Panta. And me, I say, oh, this. I want to rush, but I feel away, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, you know what I mean, the man troop I take it over, because you don't know, say, uh, I chop by the face of the sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But clashing was never really your thing. You like you like more the gal and broke out. Yeah, man, more that a juggling selector one. Mm -hmm. But even like in today's market where it's more trap dance hall, it's not really fast, it's more of a slowish type of vibe. How does a selector like you really find your yourself in that type of vibe there because it's not really a lot of dancers and it's not really a lot of gal. It's more trapping. So how do you work around that type of environment? Well, I don't know, you know, what me do, you know? Me know, say, yo, you don't, you, you don't have to use the new songs that I mash up the place. It's all your plays, all your select. So me still play the new song, them and the new artists, them, but me does know how to do my work. You know what I mean? Me, me, mostly play a hit song, you know, brother. I mean, I'm the time right now, you know. Me just play a hit songs, you know. Yeah. Hit, car. remember right now, right now my bass in the US, Connecticut. You know what I mean? So, yeah, me play, me have, me, me, me have my shows, I'm me play new songs, like, on my platform, on my, like, my TikTok. Uh, you know, my endorser songs, and but, like, out there in the dance arena, me have to just know, say, yo, me have to play it song, me have to play a song with the people them know and love. For sure. Because I know, do you have a new rhythm coming out called um, Taps and Roses right now? It's one of my peers, them rhythm. GG Records. Yeah, me, me have a song coming out on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Addressing the topic that brought me right here to you. Mm -hmm. So, my fans and just listen out feet. I want to hear body song. They mother say at about diversity. Talking about that, how are you in Tinder? How are you in Boom Boom right now today? You Boom Boom and Mr. Vegas. What's the relationship with you guys like today? Today? Well, me and Boom Boom, the last time I seen them in Florida, you know. And me and him and Ari I buck up. We're on our next part in a in a in a in a um Nashville, Tennessee. You see me? And you know, the vibes was okay. But when I realized, say, you know what I mean, them just want to hide my glory. Them just want to hide what me do. But them can't erase what me do, you know. It done, it done make it mark already. You can just come do what you do. So me and him not really have no vibe. But boom, boom, just talk, talk your journey. You know what I mean? And just talk truth. What was it that he said that 
Yeah. Me and Vegas hold now. On. All right. Before we get to Vegas, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before we get to Vegas, what was it that he said that upset you in the first place? Is hot about is is like people just texting down my phone and telling me that yo in a year a boom boom say I in bus uptown Mondays. So me I say really. Then somebody did a video. A guy named Tattoo did a video and blast it and then me see it and you know what I mean. Me really say I really that him say so I go watch the interview and him talk some truth yet but. You know, boom, boom, does a pretty up, you know. Him does a pretty up the thing, brother. Okay. If we're going to be 100% honest, I watch the same interview. That's a let's be honest with Jay Freedom, okay? okay? And to me, boom, boom, did not say, I did not hear him saying he bust up till Mondays. From how he was saying, that's where he's saying he got his strength from. Because when Jay asked him, said, yo, who else was there as giants? What he said was Richie Feelings, Foot to Hype, and your name was the last name that came out of his mouth as one of the giants that was up there, and he was a warm-up guy. So I'm not really sure if it was something that I didn't hear, something I missed, or there's something more, but that's how I seen it. Yeah, that's how you see, but yeah, seven different brothers, seven different, you know what I mean, vision and uh, how you see things. Yeah, because what him said, well, why me really... Even feel away, him said there wasn't somebody that represent and dare a up to Mondays as 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 like um you know call it as as a resident DJ, which that's a lie. Mm -hmm. So uh, that me get all tight. The other guy said him said okay. was up to Mondays, mm -hmm. but me never really hear the part about uh, that me get from the story. Mm -hmm. All right, so then now we're on the same page because yes, that's what he did say. Where he said that the five the giants were there, you included, but they didn't really have a residence, and that's where he came. Yeah, that's what I remember him saying. Yeah, definitely. I, that that me get to. Mm -hmm. And that's the part that you didn't like. Yeah, me never really like that because you know what I mean. I me me are the resident. If which you want to talk the truth, me are the resident. And me tell him, say, book other selector. And me make foot of them come round there. And Ross and Biggie them. And me tell him the idea there, as me tell him before. So me not hide nobody glory. Them do them thing. But uh, me, I the resident selector for Uptown Mondays. People know a hot ball about Uptown Mondays. Me yeah, for a while, me there Uptown Mondays filings cost me. When him see me in the street, come rate me, you know. But him say, yo, yo, you see which of them use, yo. You know, so we to them go so boom. And you was young. Show him know your voice. Lock the streets. Him you was for up to Mondays. For, for kill out my thing at Mondays. What about a true marriage, you know. I mean, I say, eh. Hey, I that go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brother. You in Vegas right now. You in Vegas. Where are you guys at right now? Yeah, man. Mr. Vegas. Me and him have nothing really. But the problem I may have with Mr. Vegas, me never get the split sheet. And the song of Billboard, I uh, all know me to get a red kind or a quarter. So, you don't know everything take time, you know. Me so reach one another part there. And I'm going to business there, car. Uh, uh, about, when we say, the, the, the song they on Billboard for, for several weeks. And, and peak at uh, 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 number 50 or, 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 or in the 40s, when we can recall. So, you know, say, yo, some. Paperwork's out there for me, you know. But him should I make sure me get my paperwork, you know. Mm -hmm. But me and him good otherwise, I'm that. Do you think this business has given you a fair shake since you've been in it, boss? No, man, you have to take what is yours, you know. That me see, if you sit down, because over the years, me tell you, I sit down and I make things slide. If you stand up for it, where you believe in it, you're not going to get it. People just use you and use it till they don't want to see you no more. When you found that the thing started to slow down on you, all right, what was your next move to really try to pick it up? When you just when you seen that you were getting these bookings like you were getting one time, how do you decide to really try to pick back up your career at that time? Nothing beat marketing, you know. The biggest company them never take marketing out of them, promotion out of them. Them thing. 
So I look on KC, I look on, you know what I mean, Walmart, all of these top brands, Gucci, all of them. So I just know, say, yo, Atabal just continue to market your brand. Believe in your thing. Believe in yourself. And one day, one day, the people them will see it. So oh, I overlook me. Right now, them soon see me again, brother. And why did you decide to migrate from Jamaica to the States? Why I want to migrate? Because, you see, Jamaica is a first world country and everywhere, you, are, you, you know what I mean, you get bookings, you have to need visa. So, you know what I mean, when you're in a first world country, it's more easier for you. So that's why I'm there, so. Was getting the fight part of your reason for leaving also? Yeah, it led, it led up to that, but that wasn't the main reason. You know what I mean? I just say, yo, oh, out of them people eyesight, you know. Oh, and up on the wing side, I do my thing, you know. And I wait on the springtime. And do you find it easier now to build back in the States than it was in Jamaica at that time? Yeah, yeah man, I'm a 52 state, you know, I can't run, you know. I mean, I have a strong team, you know. You see me? John Wayne. You know what I mean? Brevard. You know what I mean? I myself. You know what I mean? And, 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 and crazy supporter where, 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 where I bought my thing. Yeah. You get it. And when people watch this interview, what do you want them to take away the most from watching this entire interview here? I want them to realize, you know. I want them to realize, say, Atabal. Atabal is a youth when no where I want out of life and, 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 and where the thing's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Atabal is a youth who always support. I always I give support to everybody. And when my time to get support, I don't see them and give me no support. So it's basically that I try to show the world, you know what I mean? But right now, I have my platform, my, my, my website, so everything... You want to book me, you can't come on the website. If you don't link me, you can't book me on my website the same way. I have my store on my website and I endorse people on my website. It's not about me on my website. It's about the culture. Hatabal, I learned a lot in this conversation. And the way how you're just upfront with whatever it was, whether it was good, bad, or indifferent, I think a lot of people are going to appreciate that. And I'm glad that we even got to clear the air with the boom, boom situation. Cause again, what I seen people having out there is them saying one thing and how you felt about it were two different things. And I'm glad that we got to speak about it and clear it up today. You understand? Yeah. 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 Man, you know, say so I've clear the air, you know, and then I did when the smoke clear, you know, we're still, I got there, daddy. I must you speak understand. up. 2024. You know what I mean? Spend it talk. I lay you. Big up the whole of Canada. I'm a place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, the whole Rex, Chrissy, the whole team in Canada, big up on itself. You don't know King Sharp likewise. Yeah, man, I, I, I team, man. I language. You understand. Hatabal, let me give you an outro and get you out of here. And hopefully we'll see you in Toronto sooner rather than later. Because I know this is your place here also too. You understand? Yeah, man, I, about five times I come to Canada, man. Well, no, I know 100%. No 100%. Yeah, man. My resume is big in a brother. I know some people in a reach a Japan in a four time ago a Japan in a. The way me around Japan, them call me Japan Prince. But as you say, yeah. you have things to go do, muscle. You don't know entertainment report, podcast. You don't know do your outro. I saw on boss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is muscle and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. Come, come, come. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com. <laughs>